Pit side now with uh, Hereford captain Jared Hotchkiss, former Harriers player. You, you won't have enjoyed that result in the end. No, disappointing. Um, we played a lot better second half, um, performance wise, but obviously the results disappointing. But penalties is a bit of a lottery, I suppose. It was very even, wasn't it? You went toe to toe with them for most of the match. Yeah, the conditions were difficult first half, to be honest. That sun was really low and I'm not making excuses at the end of the day. It wasn't good enough first half. Second half was a lot better performance-wise and um, I think you could tell that. And I think if we play probably five or ten minutes longer, we, we might uh, nick, to, nick to winner. It was difficult to control it as well, wasn't it, with that swirling wind? Yeah, I mean, it was very difficult. I, I don't want to make excuses, but quite a few players, even the technical players, we're losing control of the ball and that, so it was difficult, but um, I think 1-1 was a fair result, but obviously penalties, like I just said, is a lottery, so we'll dust ourselves off and go again Tuesday against Kettering. Well, given your fine performances running into this, you, you must now look to that, those league matches now. Yeah, of course. Um, if you take away the penalties, that's five unbeaten now for us. Um, and again, here on Tuesday night, under the lights, it'll be a good game and a good chance to... Um, put another win on the board. Given that Harry's are fourth in the table, uh, Hereford was second bottom only, what, five or six weeks ago, it just shows how things can quickly change. It does. I, I felt that we didn't have the rub of the green the first uh, eight games or so. Um, better, better than other teams that we just didn't get the results and um, obviously the last four or five we've uh, managed to get the results to go along with the performances. So. Um, long may that continue. How much of a wrench is it to lose in the trophy given that you were at Wembley last year or is it a question we really need, need to focus now on, on what um, our sort of bread and butter? I th it's difficult because you want to go you want to get to Wembley again and then win it because you've got that hunger to and I think you could tell second half that the boys had that hunger but it just wasn't to be um, so yeah your attention straight away as soon as the the manager's finished his talk, he's, he's about Kettering Tuesday and we're lucky that we've got a game Tuesday to put this one behind us and, and, and go again. Uh, you're in the dressing room then at the end, any niggles in there, any injuries to worry about? Um, not really, not that I know of. Um, I think with Zelly coming off, there might be a bit of something there but I don't think it was much. Um, but apart from that, not, not that I've seen myself now. So there's a, a number of players on the bench that want starting places. So we always talk about competition being important uh, with these games coming back to back. So how, how many how close do you think some of those are to really making a push for a starting place? Well, they always they always train well. We've got a good group, so they always train well and um, gives the gaffer food for thought for, for Tuesday. But we'll reassess Monday and then um, the gaffer will have some big decisions to make, I suppose. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Cheers.